All right, Chad, thanks so much. No doubt today's loss was tough for YSU fans, but they are clearly proud of how far the team went this year. 27 First News anchor Dave Sess and sports director Ryan Allison were on the sidelines for today's game. They're live tonight in Frisco, Texas. Yes, the Penguins returning to the national stage live here in Frisco. Dave Sess along with Sports Team 27 director Ryan Allison. I think the biggest disappointment was that the Penguins didn't play their biggest, best game of the year. And as we talked about last night on the Drive for Five special, we got the keys to the game pretty right. We wanted them to take the lead early. They fell behind, unfortunately. And we wanted them to get to the quarterback. They managed two sacks but gave up a lot of rushing yards. I think the biggest thing, though, what every coach will tell you the key is, is turnovers and mistakes, and that's where they fell short today. Yeah, they were just playing that catch-up, yep. what-if game. They needed something to really spark them to get them going. So the drive for five ended in disappointment. We can all agree that that outcome was not what we hoped for and were expecting. Meanwhile, before the game, I was talking with the fans in the, and out in the tailgate lots. They were expecting some great things today. There was a plenty of enthusiasm as they were out there. They were pumped in that tailgate lot. They were worried about being outnumbered, though. There was a sea of purple, which took advantage of all those extra tickets made available. And as the Penguins fans were leaving the stadium after the loss today, they thought that they had made a difference. I think it really hurt our players. Uh, they dominated the field with their fans. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Very obvious that something went on. Yeah. You think we that played a safe? <laughs> we all like JMU fans are terrible. We felt unsafe. I don't, I don't think it was on the fans. Uh, the Youngstown. You know, city of Youngstown supports you know its own pretty good. So the only thing you could say now is, when we come back next time, learn from it and get the tickets out there, because I do think with travel and the higher cost of the tickets, it eliminated some fans from coming. Jeff Gurgle is a YSU alum, and he hoped that the school learned from its mistake and would handle it differently the next time. As we've reported, the university had to bid on these playoff tickets after the second round, and they have said that they wish they'd have handled it differently now. All right, so YSU loses in the national championship game. Ryan, what will you have coming up later in sports? You know, this has been a special senior class. A lot of players that will be hard to forget. Two of my favorites I spoke with one-on-one -on -one in the locker room afterwards. That's Avery Moss and Jody Webb, two seniors that have worn their last Penguins uniform. We'll have that coming up in sports. All right, and we'll look forward to that. For now, live from Frisco, Dave Sess along with Ryan Allison. Let's go back to Julie Bursick in the studio.